We want to remind you that there will be a forum today for the gubernatorial race in Columbia. By now, you may have seen the campaign ads for that race, including those between the incumbent, Mike Parson, and the Democrat, Nicole Galloway. Medicaid expansion, which voters approved in August, is a topic in Galloway's ad against Parson. 41 Action News anchor Bryant Madrick looked into the ad in this edition of Truth Be Told. Amanda Finley is a coronavirus long hauler. She got the virus in March. It hits, it hit faster than anything I've ever had. I knew it was bad. What followed was a fever of 100.4, pneumonia, and a dry cough. This cough, it, it just feels like it's going to rip something as it comes roaring out of your lungs. It hurts. It, it makes you gag every time. She says things got worse in June. As I was getting out of the shower, I felt a really sharp, knotting pain in my chest, and it radiated down my arm. I thought, oh my God, I'm, I'm 43, I'm going to die. I'm having a heart attack. So I went on Facebook. So I went on Facebook and I, I told my friends, please, I don't know what's going on, but please never stop telling my son how much I love him. Sorry. Finley says she doesn't have insurance, so she went to a community clinic where she only paid $25. Because of coronavirus, health care is in the spotlight, and Nicole Galloway is making it an issue in her campaign ad attacking Governor Mike Parson on Medicaid expansion. Even now, he opposes Medicaid expansion. Truth be told, looked into this claim. We'll say it's half true. It's true Governor Mike Parson expresses opposition to Medicaid expansion during a COVID-19 briefing earlier this year. Look, I, I don't think it's a time to be expanding anything in, in the state of Missouri right now. I'm telling you, we're going to have challenges going into 2021 uh, for sure when it comes to just meeting the budget with what we currently have. The governor said it's too costly, but in August, Missouri voters approved Amendment 2, which expands Medicaid to low-income adults. Despite the governor's original opposition, this is what he said after Medicaid expansion passed. Well, you know, the people of the state of Missouri voted that in, so we're going to have to deal with it and implement it. The big thing is where do you find the funding for it right now? You know, you're probably looking at $200 million or something like that. $200 million? Where did that number come from? The state auditor, which is Nicole Galloway, in August 41 Action News reported the cost to expand the state's Medicaid program could cost that much, according to a fiscal note from her office. In Galloway's campaign ad, she says her plan to expand Medicaid won't break the bank. My plan lowers costs and expands Medicaid without raising taxes and covers our kids. On Galloway's campaign website, she backs up her claim of no cuts or tax hikes with this report on Medicaid in Missouri from Washington University, which says, we find that a Medicaid expansion in Missouri is approximately revenue neutral and could create cost savings. For Finley, there's one thing more important than saving money, and that's saving her quality of life while dealing with the long-term effects of coronavirus. I'm doing a lot better than a lot of people, I will say that. And I found, I found a, a good inhaler that works for me. Um, and that keeps most of it in check. Well, some good news for uh, Finley, who tells me that she still has symptoms from the coronavirus because she is a long hauler. And she tells me that one way that she's getting through all of this time right now dealing with this virus is by setting up a support group on Facebook where her and other long haulers get support for each other as well as share some recommendations on how to beat this virus. Reporting live downtown, I'm Bryant Madrick, 41 Action News. Taylor, right back to you. Brian, thank you. As we've said several times, we are now three and a half weeks away from the election. This is coming up three weeks from Tuesday. Brian, you've done several of these stories on Truth Be Told. These are all available on our website, right? Tell me, tell, remind voters about some of the other stories they can go back and look into, some of the ads you've looked into. Yeah, you know, what we are doing with this series is taking a look at all the political ads, and they all touch on different topics. This one dealing with Medicaid expansion, last week may have been abortion, health care. There's so many different topics, the economy that we're taking a look at and telling those stories through real people and also breaking down where does the actual facts lie in these ads that we're now just seeing swamp our television leading up to November. So we'll continue to look at these ads leading up to November. But most importantly for all of you out there, I mean, these ads, they're trying to convince all of you to vote for a candidate right. or against a candidate. So if there's an issue that impacts you and you want to make sure that you, it's being heard and have us to talk about it, reach out to us. We certainly love to uh, share your story about how these ads impact your life.